Lord told me to tell you that this very now, from now to 15th of this month, 15th of this month, I am seeing a mega breakthrough, financial breakthrough, jamboree, breakthrough that will shake you and you ask yourself, oh, all that I've been asking the Lord this year, God has finally answered me. I see somebody is going to win. You're going to win something like money. You're winning money. Winning super money. I'm not talking about cobble. I'm talking about real money. Don't forget to pay your tithe. I don't know whether you are in a contest or you are in a, in a, a running the race or there's a competition or whatever. But I see you win, a, you win, you win big money. This money you are going to win will surprise you. Don't forget to pay your tithe and so is it to this ministry. For God is opening the door. I see somebody, business breakthrough, whoever is only owing you is going to pay you and they will pay you that money you think they will not pay you again. The money will be paid because the Lord had decided to bless you. Child of God, it's important that we prepare ourselves by the Holy Ghost. And this is why the Lord has given me this message. He said, go straight away to your people. Shielding, spiritual shielding and fortification. For some of you that will be traveling to different states. Some of you will be going to another, another state. Some of you will be going for holiday. Some of you will go, I want to go to some place. I want to do this sort of thing. This year, this is what I plan to do. And this and that. You have so many plans. Those, your plans are not bad. But it's important that we hand it over to God. And take authority ahead. Never you be among the people that will eat a cup or you eat a, 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 a morsel of food and they become the end that you eat in life. Never you be among the people that will drink a glass of wine and that ends your life. Never you also be among the people that will say, oh, let me buy something there and they become a story. Never you be among the people that wake up in the morning and step out there and cannot come me back. I am standing on the authority of the Holy Ghost, the power that Jesus has endowed me as a major prophet of God, the mouthpiece of God. And I am saying to you, wherever you are, quickly begin to comment on this very broadcast and say, I connect myself. I connect my family. I connect my business. Some people at this time of this very year, from this month of December, many people are going to lose their money. Many people are going to lose their money, especially this time around that they have what is called uh, uh, what is called the restrictions in money transfers and all of that. This restriction they are bringing here and there is going to affect so many people. And people will say, "Oh yeah, okay, since I have account, let me make a transfer." And some people will leave their money in the bank. And the people that is called the first stars and all of that, which I have told you will begin to swingle themselves into people's accounts to take people's money. But in this spiritual shielding and fortification, the Lord will exempt you. The Lord will exempt your family. The Lord will exempt your finance. The Lord will exempt your destiny. The Lord will exempt your children. The Lord will exempt everything that concerns you. We will never be among the people that the enemy will target and get. And any enemy that try to target your life will miss their target. They come from the front, they will miss. They will come from the back, they will miss. Anywhere they will come from, they will miss you. They will never at any time get across to you. I want you to be commenting, amen, I connect myself. As I'm speaking, the power of the word of God is moving straight to wherever you are, entering into your family, entering into your house. You cannot hear the voice of the prophet and the negative thing come on your way. This is what is called spiritual shielding and fortification. And wherever you are in the realm of the spirit, the hand of the Lord is already lifted up with a banner to shield you and fortify you and make you a day sheep in the Holy Spirit. And when you step out there, as many as they are, that may gather, wherever they may gather from, they will not see you. They will not know you. They will not understand you. They will not know your movement. They will not know where you're coming from. They will not know where you're going. They will not understand your finances. They can never be able to decode your pin 
number. They can never get your password. They will never get all the login details of your account. They will not get your email address. They will never hack your WhatsApp message. They will not hack your Facebook. They will not hack your YouTube account. They will not hack your Instagram. They will not hack your Snapchat. They will not hack your TikTok account. They will not hack any of your social media platforms. I want you to say amen to that. I am praying for you. They will not know your house. They will not know your family. They will not see your children. They will not see your husband. You will not fall into the hands of the wicked people that are there in the world. The Bible says in the world will have tribulation, but in Christ will have peace. Because you are in Christ Jesus, the world will look for you, they will not see you. The world will gather against you because their gathering is not of the Lord. Seven ways they will scatter. They will come in one way and they will scatter in seven ways. For the hand of the Lord and the grace of the Lord shall be lifted up on your behalf. I am standing here sitting there as a major prophet of God to prophesy power and prophesy authority and prophesy grace and prophesy anointing and prophesy the perfect will of God to begin to speak for you, to begin to stand for you, to begin to move on your behalf, to begin to go ahead of you wherever you will enter, wherever you will see yourself, whatever you will do, this very year will not see your end. I said this year will not see our end and the coming year will not see our end no matter what the program no matter what the plan no matter the strategy of the enemy in terms of the political and politicking of the country or election or no election or whatever is coming forward they will not know you. They will not know your family. You will not drink a water that will choke on your stomach or choke right there on your throat. You will not eat a food that will choke. You will not eat something that will enter into your stomach and turn to toxins or turn to poisons. But eventually, the Bible says, you shall eat deadly things and drink deadly things. They shall not arm um, um, you. I am standing on the authority of possibility of God that the Holy Ghost has given to me to Prophesy every food you must eat from now to this ending year and next year, none of them shall harm you. Every water you will drink will not harm you. Every glass of cup, glass of wine, or whatever you touch a glass to drink, I command a spiritual, spiritual hand glove that contain the supernatural power, the power of possibility that whatever you touch with your hands, but eventually there is a poison there, the poison is neutralized, cannot operate in your body. But eventually you eat any food that is contaminated in any form, in any way. I am coming with double authority. The authority of the Holy Ghost, the authority of possibility that he has given to me to prophesy whatever you touch with your hands will not harm you. I speak fire in your life. I speak fire in your body. I speak fire in your spirit. I speak fire to wherever you are that you are now spiritually incubated spiritually fortified, spiritually prepared, spiritually ordained, spiritually energized, spiritually empowered, spiritually strategized to continue to overcome your enemies, to continue to overpower the enemies, to continue to rule your world, to continue to take over, to continue to spring down every imagination, every thought. Remember what the Bible says? Bringing down every imagination, every thought that the enemy have thought against you. Some people are thinking how they want to see you cry. Some people are thinking how they want to see you weep. Some people are thinking how they want to see you scream. They want to see that, oh, this brother is crying. This brother has no help. They want to see that you have nobody to support you. They want to see that your business is not moving forward. They want to see one negative things or the other happening to you. They want to see that there is a problem in your life but the Holy Ghost has stepped into action with what is called a spiritual shielding and spiritual fortification. I begin to decree as you are commenting amen I receive by fire. I decree I decree I declare. I decree I decree I declare. I decree I declare I decree. I decree I decree I declare that you that they are expecting evil to happen to evil will never know your house when the evil is coming from the east, you will be in the west. 
When it's coming from the west, you are in the east. When it's coming from the east and west, you are in the north. It's coming from the north, you are in the south. It's coming from the south, you are in the north. Anywhere they come from, they come from up, you are down. They come from down, you are up. They come from any side way. They will miss their road where you are. I am speaking because I am the mouthpiece of God. I am the major prophet of God that God has given grace to prophesy things that will be so. Wherever you are connected and you're watching me, I want you to begin to connect on this very broker. Say, I connect myself. I connect my children. Your children will not go to school and they hijack them on the way or kidnap them on the way and use them for ritual. That's not your person. It can never happen. Your children, wherever they want to see themselves as they're going out in the morning, fire will be all around them. Even their teacher cannot point hand on them. Any evil teacher, initiation teacher, occultic teacher, demonic teacher, or evil driver, evil vehicles, wherever they see themselves, anybody that has any demonic agenda, anybody that has any demonic plans, as far as you and your children are concerned, before they execute their plans, sword of the spirit, we hand them down in the realm of the spirit. Before they get to where you are, they want to take a step to get closer to you. As they are trying to take a step, the Holy Ghost will mark them. Holy Spirit will mark them. The angels of possibility have been dispatched for escort and for spiritual shielding and the what's called spiritual fortification. When they take a step, the Lord will stop them and the Lord will pull them down. The Lord will take them unaware and that's your money they plan to take away from you. They will never ever succeed. They stretch their hand towards your account number. The Lord will cut them into pieces. They will miss your account number. As they're trying to program with a software, whatever type of software that are using to take people's money, as they program the software and they remember you to put your account there, the Lord will put a confusion in their midst. Their software will not get your account. Their software will not get your phone number. Their software will never get to your platform. Their software will never hijack you. Hey, Parakandosh Katalabada, evil bloggers will not block you and say, oh, so 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 person was on this and this happened. When they begin to look at what happened, what they will use for story, nobody will make story of you. The story that will come out of you is story of greatness. The Lord will cause the story of greatness to come out of me and you, you and I. The Bible says, I am my father's house. I am my family. We are for signs and wonders. I and my family are for signs and wonders. That's what the Lord has said. And it is enough. Whatever the word of God said is sufficient for me. I spread the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus on all your ways. All your ways. All your going out. And all your coming in. I prophesy the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run unto it and they are saved. I begin to read the Bible and what the word of the Lord has spoken about you. According to the book of Psalm 125, he said from verse 1, he said, Though they that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which can never be removed, but abide that forever. I prophesy this very portion that you that trust in the Lord, you that believe in the prophetic, you that believe in the servant of God, you that is watching me and hearing me and commenting amen on this very broadcast, the Bible said that you can never be removed. If they plan to remove your business, they will never succeed. They plan to remove your children, they will never succeed. They want to remove you from your position in the place of worker, they will never succeed. They try to remove you from your way of incomes, they will never succeed. They try to remove you from where God has placed you, where he's blessing you, they will never succeed. And in verse 2 he says, as the mountain are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people. I prophesy the Lord will be a shield and a fence and a buckler, a protection, rock of defense for you and your family <laughs> and he said even hence even forevermore i prophesy that that is how it will be as your portion in the name of jesus christ i pray your fortification remain permanent in the name of jesus i give god the glory for this opportunity that he has made he has put a smile on your face. He has given you victory. And this victory shall be permanent. You will never ever by any means complain. You will not cry. You will not be in pain. You will not have agony. 
no negative things can ever come to your way the Lord is on your side and the Lord has given you victory and the song that I say he has given me victory I will lift him higher Jehovah I will lift him higher God has given you permanent victory those your children in your house are under this heavenly immunization whatever evil disease that stop people from entering the new year will not see your children whatever demonic oppression here and there that make people oh he couldn't make it you and your household will make it in the name of Jesus we will make it we our household our family will make it in the name of Jesus